Hi there folks, voicing over a bit of a time lapse today, I was working some wood into rustic benches. So let's begin with some context. In the winter, the municipality did a waterway clearing and in order for the big machinery to gain access to the local small river, they had to cut down this very large uh, poplar tree. So the poplar uh, was fell on the property of someone I know in the village and they agreed to donate part of it for making some rustic outdoor furniture, which is to be placed in a special spot for the community, which I'll talk about more in a future video, probably. So uh, me and a friend, we took the opportunity to learn something new, even though we have no previous experience with uh, this uh, woodworking, or we don't, also we don't have proper tools for the job. But still, it's a nice learning experience and something we want to develop in the future. Also, another pal uh, from the village dropped by and helped a little while learning. So first, we got another community member to use uh, his truck with a lifting arm to move the large pieces of wood to the special place. Then we cut one of those pieces in thick swaps, maybe 10 centimeters thick and more which uh, I showed you in a short video two weeks ago. Of course, cutting by hand with no tools, uh, those swaps came out super uneven and rough, and uh, the two sides, the two faces of the swap are not even remotely parallel to one another, but that was to be expected. It was our first attempt. And also our two chainsaws are very cheap hobby machines, and uh, we don't really know what we're doing, so we're learning while working. Still, we really enjoyed the process and learned valuable, valuable lessons for the next piece of poplar which we have to cut in swaps. And next step was uh, to try and use the two end swaps, which are actually a section of a circle, to create sitting benches. And that is what the current time lapse is showing. We used one of the largest uh, branches we got from the tree and cut it into pieces to use as support for the benches or legs. We then remove the bark off of them and cut a semicircular shape at top, at the top of the of, of each piece. So the rounded end of the bench swap can fit into the two legs. We joined the pieces with some thick dowels which we made out of a wooden broom handle mainly as an experiment, but also decided to drive two screws for security and we set, set those screws in deep uh, pre-drilled holes and capped the holes by pounded pieces of dry wild plum branches. <laughs> so this is as, rust as rustic as it gets with dowels. I really enjoyed the fact that uh, our kids and some of other some other kids from the village were around during the work day and even got to help a bit. It's always good to provide them with opportunity to see what it takes to create something out of nothing and uh, also to see how community effort works. And another important aspect is that lots of people passing stop by to see what's going on in several uh, occasions of the video you see cars stopping by and people walking by and they expressed interest in our work which is very important to me because after all we're trying to create a community space and community involvement is key. After we did the benches we moved them in the shade and then we called it a day. This coming week we'll probably start working on two tables made out of the wider swaps. I'll try to do a video of that as well. We are aiming at a deadline of uh, the 9th of April when we will hold a community gathering in that space. So we would really like to have two benches and two tables ready for that event. So that was all for today and I'll see you in the next one.